Oh, this particular Vita news filled me up with all kinds of happiness. Let's get into it. <coughs> Greetings, fellow Vita fans. This is James with PS Vita at 2 a.m. Coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. What would you do if I was to tell you that we have a licensed anime video game coming to the PS Vita? Go crazy? Run amok? All of the above? Well, that's what I would do. But yep, you heard me correctly. Today, the PlayStation Vita asked the age-old question, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Publisher 5PB has announced that is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Infinite Combat will be coming to the PlayStation Vita about the game. And oh boy, is there a lot of info on this. Clear quests issued by the guild to advance the story. The basic flow of the game is as followed. Guild, dungeon exploration, Battle. Return from Dungeon. The game is set in the city of Orario. Hmm. Nah. Which features various adventure focused facilities. The player will utilize these facilities while advancing the story, exploring the dungeon, and interacting with characters. Guild. Receive quests at the guild, then head for the dungeon. Familia. The goddess of your familia can unlock skills for the player character. Market and the blacksmith. Buy and sell weapons, armor and items, or strengthen weapons and armor. But not items. Darn that sentence went afloat so well. Hostess of Fertility Pub, a place where various adventurers gather to exchange information and the like. Dungeon Exploration. Bell and I's story will play out for each chapter. For each story, you will control and explore with the respected character. Whew, almost tripped over my own words there. Your dungeon user interface includes the following. Your HP, MP bars, skill gauge, acquired magic shards, item slots assigned to each D-pad key. And I love battle systems like that and pre-chosen support characters and their skill gauges. Each support character can activate various skills. Extra Dungeon After clearing story mode, you can choose your favorite playable and support characters to tackle the post-game Extra Dungeon. Date and Hot Springs Co-Sleeping Events High difficulty quests will also be added to the extra dungeon, which is unlocked after clearing story mode. By clearing these quests, you will be able to enjoy date and hot spring slash co-sleeping events. Now don't worry guys, I'm sure it's just nothing but them having a nice relaxing nap. That's all that's going on here. Don't read too that the PlayStation Vita version, of course, is stuck in Japan and thus will only be available in Japanese. There is a PlayStation 4 and Switch version to this title. And much to my surprise, both of those are getting an Asian English release. Yeah, I was shocked when I heard that news. Now what does this mean for us exactly? Web book, gameplay guide plus visual book, will be available for 9,800 yen. Here's something that I'm especially excited about. Pre-orders for all versions of the game in Japan will include the side-scrolling shoot-em-up Danmachi de Shooting wa Mache Gataru Daru Ka. I'm only guessing on most of that pronunciation by the way. In this game, players control Ias Wallenstein and choose Choose two support characters to challenge five dungeon stages. In the final stage, players have to fight the last boss, Udaris. Only bad part about that is I'm assuming it's going to be DLC, and so if you don't have a Japanese account, you might not be able to access this upon release. Really wish it was included right on the cart, but mm, we'll see what happens. And I think that pretty much covers all of the info I need to tell you guys, being that the following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people, including Mario Cruz, Richard Cruz, Dennis R. Huggins Jr., Adam Sondi, Hero Acer, Rodrigo Vera, Aaron Swanson, Heston Joseph, Kevin Enright, Jared Hado, Joshua Williams, Ruben Gutierrez, BMF, Sculpture Tugel TCG, Adam Thury, Pierre Sterner, Erock, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, Reiko Star, and Mango Man. If you yourself would be interested in supporting the channel, check the links down in the description below. I have various ways for you to do so down there. Hey. You guys notice something? I actually went through the entire video segment without saying the word waifu. Ah, I bet a lot of you out there thought it was impossible for me to do that now. Ugh. I hope you know that took a lot of willpower.